Hi guys, I want to start this video off with a question. What is the last that you've heard about the situation over in Japan? I haven't heard shit in too long of a time. But things are still pretty bad over there, and yet we're not hearing anything. Now, I don't know if that's because my head is buried in the ground, or if the news media is covering things like the royal wedding. Everyone knows this, but just for providing context, in Japan, we had a 9.1 earthquake and tsunami. That nuclear power plant at Fukushima was just messed up. So this video is not about the situation over in Japan, but about nuclear power here in the U.S. I'm a little bit concerned right now. Really quickly, nuclear power is a source of energy that doesn't rely on non-renewable resources, which sounds great. We want to move away from non-renewable resources and move to renewable resources. Yay! Nuclear power isn't that. Just some numbers in terms of nuclear power, energy costs, blah, 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 blah. Nuclear power creates radioactive waste. Okay, what does that mean? It means that there's really lethal stuff that's coming out of nuclear power plants after the energy's been produced. This lethal stuff will wipe the shit out of us. There are many solutions to what to do with nuclear radioactive waste, and some of those solutions include sending them out into space and hoping that the gravitational pull and force of leaving the stratosphere does not cause the radioactive waste to explode. There's that. There's also hiding it in giant steel and concrete cases that are miles wide and feet thick and hope that these structures don't crumble. There's that too. There's also the best option, I think, of waiting, what is it, 10,000 to possibly 240,000 years for the radioactive isotopes to stop being radioactive and stop being harmful to human health? Let's go with that one. Aside from that, nuclear power plants cost a shit ton of money. But we've tried building a lot of nuclear power plants, and they cost so much money that they went bankrupt before they even opened. And now there are just empty plants sitting there that are not complete in construction because they cost so much fucking money. Those are nuclear power plants. This is what it has to do with us. Obama wants to build nuclear power plants in America. What? Yeah. Was he not paying attention to what happened in Japan? I was paying attention to what happened in Japan. It scared the shit out of me. Obama still wants to build nuclear power plants in America. Here's a link right there. I'll put it right there. A link, ABC News, of him saying he wants to build nuclear power plants. And he's saying that it's safe. Sure, nuclear power plants are safe when nothing goes wrong. When there's no earthquakes or tornadoes or tsunamis or hurricanes or any of those other things that never happen in America. Unless I'm mistaken, the Japanese tend to kick our ass in anything technological. And right now, they're struggling to survive in this nuclear catastrophe that has struck them. And America wants to build nuclear power plants here because they're safe and they'll give us energy. And they won't kill us. Not only that, according to the Wall Street Journal, here's a link. Numerous countries that America has had contracts with to build nuclear power plants are trying to renegotiate their deals. They want to pull out. They don't want nuclear power plants. Why? Because they know how fucked Japan is. They were paying attention. Now, in the article, um, this administrative official goes unnamed, but he goes on to say this. Nothing that has happened has altered what we are trying to do. We see these agreements as a positive for both parties involved. I'm sorry, Mr. Administrative Official. What was that? It's beneficial for who? I couldn't understand. Can you translate that for me? I'm sorry, I guess I don't speak stupid. So please, tell me what it is that I'm missing, because I want to know where I'm wrong. I'm more than humbly willing to admit that I'm wrong when someone can tell me what is wrong with what I have just said. I'm asking you to go find something that either helps prove what I'm saying is true or completely knocks everything that I just said to the ground, because... Right now, they're trying to build nuclear power plants in our country and other countries around the world. They are going to fuck us up. Before the end of this video, I just want to let you know one more thing. You're the one who's going to pay for these nuclear power plants. 
your tax dollars are going to pay for building nuclear power plants that will supply nuclear energy that will create barrels, endless barrels of radioactive waste that could literally wipe out the human race. Nuclear power that could be turned into nuclear weapons that can literally wipe out the human race. We're the ones paying for it. I want you to look up a documentary. It's called Children of Chernobyl. Years ago, there was a huge nuclear power plant disaster that devastated a nation, people's lives, and the well-being of our globe. Yeah, on a global scale. People are still affected by the radiation that happened all of those years ago. I told you earlier, radioactive waste takes hundreds of thousands of years to become safe. What happened in Japan isn't going away anytime soon. What happened at Chernobyl is not going away anytime soon. So I invite you to watch that documentary. It's less than an hour long. It will truly change the way you think about nuclear power if you've thought about it at all before now. So here's a link to Children of Chernobyl. I found it on YouTube for you guys. Just watch it for me. Watch it. Let me know what you guys think. Go out there and find stuff about nuclear power. Let me know about it because I want to read about it, but I'm scared. And this is an issue that is very, very serious, and it's something that we need to think more critically about.